Intersecting Chords Theorem. Now this is a new circle theorem to me, I've only learnt this uh, in the last year or so. Um, they started putting it on exam papers just recently. Most circle theorems involved angles and this, this one involves lengths of the chords as they cross on a, on a circle. And the rule is, uh, if we're looking at this one, say for example, um, this chord A P times by P B, so the distance from A to P times by the distance from P to B, it's going to be equal to the distance from E to P times by this distance here from P to F. So we know AP is 8, PB is 3, EP is 2, and PF, well we've got X for this bit, and then 5 for that bit. So we've got X plus 5, and I'm going to put that in a bracket. So we've got 24 equals 2 times X plus 5. Now we could work that out by just guessing that 7 plus 5 is 12 times 2 is 24, or we could divide by 2 to get 12 equals X plus 5. And tells us that x equals 7 for one, uh, two marks for getting the 7. And then we've got to use the other two chords. So now we know that x is 7, we can now look at y times 6, or 6y, and 5 times this length here. And we know x is 7, so 7 plus 2 is 9. Uh, 5 times 9, which is 45. So y is going to be 45 divided by 6. which is seven and a half or seven point two so seven point five seven and a half or seven point five for four marks um, a couple of mistakes people make um, apart from not knowing this formula at all because you do have to memorize it, it's not given to you um, is once you work out x is to make sure you don't use x plus five times two again you actually change this to be x uh, seven plus 2 which is 9 times by 5 because the actual where it crosses is changed in the second part. 